Hey everyone, welcome back to Electrology, your go-to channel for all things electrifying. Today we're diving into a topic that has impacted us all in one way or another, corona loss. We'll uncover why it happens, how it can be reduced, and explore its significance in the world of electricity. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our electrifying content. So, what exactly is corona loss? Well, in the context of electrical engineering, is not a virus, but rather it is the phenomenon where electrical energy is lost due to the corona discharge that occurs around high voltage power lines and equipment. This discharge results in energy being converted into heat and light, leading to a reduction in the efficiency of the electrical system. It's like money going down the drain. But why does corona loss happen? When an alternating current is made to flow across two conductors of a transmission line, whose spacing is large compared to their diameters, the air surrounding the conductors which is composed of ions is subjected to dielectric stress. At low values of the supply voltage, nothing occurs as the stress is too small to ionize the air outside. But when the potential difference increases beyond some threshold value, known as the critical disruptive voltage, the field strength becomes strong enough for the air surrounding the conductors to dissociate into ions, making it conductive. This critical disruptive voltage occurs at approximately 30 kV. The ionized air results in electric discharge around the conductors due to the flow of these ions. This gives rise to a faint luminescent glow, along with the hissing sound accompanied by the liberation of ozone. If the voltage across the lines continues to increase, the glow and hissing noise becomes more and more intense, inducing a high power loss into the system. Now, let's talk about the impact of corona loss. The energy lost through corona discharge doesn't just disappear, it's wasted. This results in reduced efficiency in power transmission and distribution systems, which ultimately affects consumers in the form of higher energy bills. Moreover, corona loss generates ozone, which is a harmful greenhouse gas. So, not only does it cost us money, but it also contributes to environmental problems, including climate change. It's a double whammy. So, the big question is, how can we reduce corona loss? Well, there are several strategies. Increasing conductor size. One way to reduce corona loss is by increasing the size of the conductors. This lowers the voltage gradient and decreases the chances of corona discharge. Optimizing transmission line design. Better design and spacing of power lines can also help reduce corona losses. Engineers work tirelessly to find the sweet spot between efficiency and corona discharge. Using corona rings, engineers can install devices called corona rings on high voltage equipment. These rings distribute the electric field evenly reducing the chances of corona discharge. Controlling humidity, believe it or not, weather conditions can affect corona loss. Controlling humidity levels can help mitigate its impact. Looking ahead, researchers and engineers are continually developing new technologies and strategies to further reduce corona loss. This is not only beneficial for our wallets but also for our planet as we strive to create more sustainable and efficient electrical systems. All right, folks, we've covered the ins and outs of corona loss, why it happens, and how it can be reduced. It's crucial to stay informed about these topics as they affect us all in our daily lives. If you found this information helpful, please give us a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications. By doing so, you'll stay connected with us and be the first to know when we release more electrifying content. Also, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to explore in future videos, leave a comment down below. We love hearing from our electrifying community. That's all for today on Electrology. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, knowledge is power. Stay electrified, everyone.